subscribe. Hey everybody, Russell Envy here, back with another video about the metaverse known as Upland. And in this video, I want to talk about how to spot potential cheaters in the metaverse. Recently, we just had the Father's Day 2022 hunt going on, and this was basically a special tier, just like the Mother's Day, just like the Sparked Up that's going on right now. This is a special treasure hunt that was going on, and what we were seeing is very tough, very competitive treasure hunting going on in tier one cities and what it did was presented us the opportunity that every single time somebody won a treasure you know we all do the same thing which is we want to see who won it and we want to know where it was won so one day I was sitting there minding my own business as you do and I'm treasure hunting and I get dinged, which means I found a treasure, and when I clicked on claim the treasure, boom, it says, dang, somebody else beat you to this. So I wait until the treasure comes up, and it says this name right here. It says Cat Act 2. Now, I've never seen this name, and I treasure hunt every single day in the metaverse, specifically here in San Francisco, California. So you better believe that when somebody, a name that I haven't seen, I'm going to click on the profile and lo and behold, I've never seen this name and this person doesn't have any properties. Uh, they were an uplander. Like, that was what their current status was. So, very, very interesting. Let me go back here, and I'll show you. Uh, later on, we see that they happened to win this same profile in 24 seconds, by the way. This is like pro treasure hunting stuff. It's very rare that you're going to get lucky and stumble upon something in 24 seconds. But it's very rare that you're going to land the biggest prize of that day. So I really started to dig into this profile. Here you can see here, this one was won in 15 seconds. Which means they probably started somewhere close to it. Which usually means this is somebody who knows what they're doing. I myself, I can find stuff like this. 15, 18, I'll show you the rare that I hit in like 16 seconds earlier today. Like, I know what I'm talking about specifically when it comes to who is hitting these or what it takes to hit these times. Yes, it is possible for somebody to start on top of this, but really, I do not think that is the case here. But the very interesting thing is, as I started digging into this profile, this Cat Act 2. I reached out to a couple of my friends and they said that they saw a similar name, look at this, in Manhattan, also under 30 seconds. So now we have two accounts, Cat Act and Cat Act 2. And what's very interesting is, is as I started looking into these, uh, this was posted on June 20th, 2022. I posted this at 4.49 p.m. So uh, we'll actually, I'll, I'll show you how to get here and we'll see the specific time and date that they signed up. But this was created a few seconds ago on this date. So this was created at the start of the Father's Day. And then you can see here that three hours after the first account, here comes that second account. So this is all very interesting, uh, and I want to show you where they are now because I'm very, very proud of this. So uh, I tagged some people here on Twitter. Yes, please come follow me on Twitter, Russell ENVY. Make sure you hit subscribe and follow me on YouTube as well. So I posted this, and then I also posted, uh, you know, uh, this big 100,000 prize 
man, this would have been really cool to win. I almost hit one of these. I got danged on another one, and it was like for 50K. I ultimately did pretty good, though. So you can see here that here's these profiles. So in-game, what I've been doing is I've just been scrolling, and uh, I want to try to find all of these wins here. So you can see, like, I hit a 10K here. So you can see I found this in 30 seconds. Here's Expedia, 18 seconds, a very good hunter in San Francisco, 32 seconds. This one was basically on top of it. Best form is another person. Warlord, more cheese, Verntar, Lord Vanilla, who won the, the uh, Treasure Rush for Genesis Week, Nitrous, Ken Cyan. This person went to jail, they're back, but you know, uh, some, some very interesting names here. But what I wanna do is I actually wanna look for Cat Act, and we'll see, let's go to the first one. So you can see that here they are, $2,000 and in 26 seconds. Then they hit 10,000, then they hit 5,000, then they hit 10, 10, 10, 100K, look at this, 25K. Look at these times though, 22 seconds, 28 seconds, 25 seconds, 26 seconds, 20 seconds. Now, when you click on this profile, look at this. They are a pro, but at the time, they were an uplander. I'll show you my screenshots here, but yes, Currently, they are in jail. This and, and the original cat act, they are in jail. See this little J right here? See how the whole profile is red? This is the jail color. So very, very interesting. I actually want to know what uh, they have the newbie collection. Okay, so they have one collection going on. Uh, and then the only assets that they have was in Queens. So what's very interesting about this is that there was a Father's Day like scavenger hunt or a thing for a block explorer. And what you had to do was like go mint properties in New York in any one of the five boroughs. And since this profile was an uplander at the time, they went and minted these in Queens because there's still property in Queens that you can mint. But so you can see here, Here's the profile, but this is, you know, it said Uplander when I first noticed this profile. And so, you know, right away, some things about a profile like this just scream suspicious to me. One of the things it said Uplander at the time, it said zero properties, it had zero collections, and it definitely didn't have this number. Look at this, $265.86. 265,000 Upix. That is not a small feat. You know, like in three or four days, however long the Father's Day 2022 hunt, this is no chump change. Like, you know what you're doing if you're bringing in here. And I actually want to show you uh, where this person ranked out of all of the treasure hunters in Upland for the Father's Day because it's actually not only quite impressive, but it also leads to more suspicion. So let's get into that. I did some digging. If you go over to Mossy Jake's Discord, uh, it's called Meta Maps, you can actually see some of the top treasure hunters so like these are all legit people. I hunt with Pisces Boy, Gitter Dude, Nitrous, Mr. Goat. But look at this. Here's that cat act two. Out of the top ten, they they came in eighth. Now mind you, this is out of everybody in Upland. Like this is all of the top treasure hunters. Um Pause the video, you can go look at some of these names. Here's your boy down here in 34th with 184,000. I mean, that's also not a small chunk of change, you know, 184,000 Upix. It's pretty. It's not bad for, for four days, but look at this, you know, someone brought in five, like 400,000, 420 almost, but here's Cat Act, and then here's the other one down here, number 30. So they brought in a grand total of like, what is it? It's 263 plus um, 191. That's 454,000 Upix, 454,600 
Upix is what was brought in between these two accounts. I mean, at this point, between New York and San Francisco, these are tier one cities that we're talking about. They didn't go to Santa Clara. They didn't go to Oakland. They dove into the heart into San Francisco. And I'm going to tell you, that is where they messed up. (laughs) If you would have done this in Oakland, A, you're not going to get the rewards that you get in tier one cities. That's the reason why they went with tier one cities. But, you know, specifically right now inside of San Francisco, we got riot mode going. I'm about to come back in the game in about an hour, but we have people. Here's Expedia, uh, recognized, which is awesome. Vines. Then you got Jinjin Panoy, who is, I think the top treasure hunter in all of Upland. As far as the number of treasures brought in he's also got a ridiculous strategy of how he plays if you go check out the upx podcast upx podcast baby that's how the intro goes if you go check it out if you go look at the upx podcast uh junjun was actually on there talking about treasure hunting and then i was the episode after that there's a lot of good information about treasure hunting but you can just see here, you know, Fleezer, Lord Vanilla, here's me. I found this one. Look at this. It took me 43 seconds. Lord Vanilla, like I said, won the entire Genesis Rush Week treasure hunting that was going on, you know, 28 seconds. Then you have Verntar, who uh, hunts in San Francisco every single day, back to Expedia, back to Vines, back to Recognize. I mean, you can see... You know, like, we know who wins. Here's that treasure, by the way. Uh, 18 seconds, I found a a rare riot mode uh, for 0.2 spark. That was pretty awesome, I gotta tell you. But so you can see, like, when you hunt in San Francisco, you get to know these names. Same thing in Santa Clara, same thing in anywhere that you hunt, really. You start to notice these names. all right, so after I did a little bit of digging here, right, you can do a couple things. Go to player search, and then you can bring up cat act. And then, very interesting, here is both of them. So I would have found the second profile anyways had my friend and a couple other people not have told me about the one in New York, but you can see here, here's both of them. Here's the other one, cat act also in jail pretty awesome uh but let's dive into a little bit more i wouldn't say advanced digging uh but what i want to show you here is this is just not enough if you wanted to turn this person in or these people in or anybody else in the game there is a way to do it but you can't just go to the treasure tab and click on the name And then, you know, see who they are and go by this merit. You have to have a little bit more information. So let's come over to UPX land. UPX land, baby. No, just kidding. It doesn't work that way. Uh, All right. So this is upxland.me. So what you can do is we can go to user search. And then you can type in any user you want. You can see here's my name. Here's my homie. Thank me later. Here is Cat Act. So you bring it up here. It's going to show them they're currently in jail. Be cautious. I love this. I love this message. Uh, But a couple of things here is we can see uh, this is the only city they have property in, which is Queens. And we can see all of their transactions. We can see, like, what happened. And what's interesting here is... You can dig a little further and like see these little lines over here or this info. Like you can click here and you can see this transaction and you can see that somebody here minted this for a a short amount and then this person bought it from them, which is very interesting. So we also want to bring up this player here in a minute. So let's dig in here look at this here's the same name so all right we're gonna look in here and then let's go look at this third name hey all three of these properties were minted by this person and then cadac 2 bought them from here which is very very interesting uh so you know when you start digging into things you can start 
again, seeing patterns. Now let's go to the original profile, just cat act. Let's get rid of the two for a minute. Three properties here. Now let's go take a look here and we can see, okay, shadow, Tar Hills, Cat Act. Still, these are very small amounts that it was paid for. Let's go through here. Look at this. So this was minted and then the Visa Upland expired. So this profile expired. And then this person came and picked up the property and then Cat Act bought it from them. Uh, so then we look at that and then let's go look at here. Now this this right here is another indication for me personally this doesn't mean that because they went to jail and this is here present that this is something uh suspicious but this to me is a pattern that we're starting to see in suspicious profiles so you can see this was minted and then it expired and then somebody else minted and it expires and then somebody else minted it. But wait, there's more. That's right, it expired. It expired three times. Now somebody, let's go look into this person. This person picks it up. And then our suspicious profile, they have bought it for 5K. Again, these are all low amounts, by the way. I don't think we've seen anything over 5,200, 5,100, you know, Upix for these profiles. All okay still says suspicious to me but looking at this profile uh some of the people in the game that i play with when we start digging into these profiles i've been noticing this pattern with one two three expired then somebody picks it up and then our hero but not hero our villain if you will uh buys the property so you know we can dig into there uh, but what I also want to show you, too, is here on upxland.me, let me just bring this down for a second, upxland.me, uh, when you have a profile, you can actually click on this name right here. I'm going to right-click, open it in a new tab, and then I also want to bring Cat Act 2 back. And so when you click on this, what this does is this brings us to a website called blocks.io. So this is actually uh, some blockchain information about the EOS blockchain, which is what our game is currently built upon. Uh, and this gives you some really good information. I mean, you, um, I'll show you what we're looking at here in a minute. But the biggest thing that you wanna look at here is when you're looking at the name, here is the profile. So we wanna make sure that we're lining these up. So this ends in M3Q. M3Q, this is our person. Uh, so you can see that this was created four days ago and you can see that it was created June 20th, 2022 at 1.18.02 p.m. Uh, it looks like Eastern time, but this could also be Pacific time because uh, that's when the Father's Day hunt happened and I think that this profile won pretty early on. So. Uh, 1 o'clock Eastern would be noon, 11, 10 o'clock. So 10, 18 Pacific time is when that would be, which would be an hour after the Father's Day hunt started, which is very, very interesting. Now we bring it back over here to, this is the other Cat Act profile. This was created three days ago, but look at this. June 20th, 2022 at 440. So this one was 118 and this one was 440. So they were literally created three hours apart from each other. Do you see where we're getting at here? Like as you start digging into these profiles, you can see the creation date. Let me just show you here. Uh, let's go back, let's go to user search. Here's moi, here's myself. You click on here and you can see, here's my date, May 4th. 2021 pretty pretty cool may 4th is when i officially joined the game even though i have an email on saint patrick's day may 4th is may the 4th be with you hey that's awesome i didn't know that uh but may 4th is when i started the game and i signed up at 2 55 p.m eastern time but when i signed up i was actually living 
in Las Vegas, Nevada. So this would be 1, 12, 11, 55 p.m. is when they signed up. Very, very interesting uh, that I signed up in the morning, 11.55 in the morning, right before noon. Pretty cool. I must have been like on lunch or something that day. But you can see as we start diving into these profiles, you know, some other things too is uh, you can see when people treasure hunt or you can see the same transactions where things are bought, things are paid for, stuff like that. You can see all of that data here. So here's a, a $2,000 Upix that was one and it looks like there was one, two, three, four. So these are sends. So when they started, before they won this treasure, they started, here was the first send that happened at 2.55, 13 a.m. And then look at this, literally seven tenths of a second. I mean, this isn't even a second, 2.55, 20, 2.55, oh, no, it is. It, it's seven seconds. Okay, I'm sorry, two minutes, 55, no, Oh no, this is 2 a.m., 2.55, 20. Okay, so it was seven seconds. But then you can see the next send took 10 seconds. The next one took two seconds. So they literally, they sent, they sent, and then they landed right on top of it. They sent right to the next profile or to the next person, uh, property, whatever. Bam, there's your treasure. So that's what this tells me. Now you can see here, there's not a lot of trading going on. This is flat out winning. You know, they, they sent 50 Upix to this profile. They sent 20 Upix to this property owner. And so 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, 100, 110. So basically 115 Upix is how much this treasure cost and they won 10 grand. You know, you can pause the video, do the math, maybe I'm off for a second, but you can see it was just about a dollar to win 10. So it was very profitable for them to win this. And then 413 Upix, so this was a small one. But we can start diving in and like not only that, you can go click on this and it will like, it will show you some details about it. So you can start getting super granular about these and this is what I would call digging into these profiles. Not only that, but <clears throat> when you win Spark, when you win stuff like this, it will actually show you here. Let me be the example here. Like I just won, here's my rare that I had. So we can see that I did some sends before I got that rare. But then here's that community chest. So I got 200 Upix and then I, I'm gonna get the spark for it. But then you can see here, I got 100 Upix. So then here's the other spark that I got. But as we start going into like when you win spark it will actually say uspk like this so here's some spark and this is actually when i staked my spark on a build so we can start i think there's a way to yeah this tells you that this was a build it tells you that it was a townhouse and it tells you that it's somewhere uh this is in queens by the way that's where i'm building i'm building in um radish heads node but if this is the very first time that you're seeing this i mean welcome to the world of blockchain nothing here gets by you might be able to fool people inside of the game you might be able to go undetected when you're here and people really aren't checking your profile I mean, again, this name, okay, you're an executive, not bad. You know, Seabass is somebody that we just tossed in jail not too long ago, uh, and a couple other profiles that they had. But we can see, here's Monik, director, five properties. I mean, this is very interesting that, that Monik's one, but, you know, we start diving into some things. Here's me, here's Lord Vanilla. Look at this, director. I mean, very, very interesting that they are, you know, they're probably putting money into this, but they're also winning a lot of money. So, you know, we'll see. But you can just start, you know, again, digging into there. Here's Vines, and then you come over to Upland, you know, and you go to User Search, and we can go to Thank Me Later. And you click on the profile, and it brings up here, and we can see Thank Me Later signed up February 10th, 2020 at 4.19 uh, p.m., 
Eastern Standard Time, Eastern DT Time, whatever that means. But I mean, like, if you want to see what Thank Me Later is up to, I mean, here's the proof of what's going on, you know. He basically received 5.6 UPX. Very, very interesting. You know, you can see a lot of stuff. But not only that, you can go click on some of these and you can dive in. And some of these will actually tell you. Like, some of these will... will uh, here, pub key one for like this. But some of these will actually tell you, it will say like, here you go. This transaction notarizes the Upland user, thank me later, with EOS account owns. So right here, he minted this property, uh, which is very, here's the initial minting transaction. So that's what happened. So you can see on June 22nd at this time, thank me later, minted, this address and we can actually grab this copy go back into the game hit our little search down here bring it on up bring it on up and there's thank me later and then we can see all the details about it uh here's a property can't mint that one let's scroll back i mean there's a lot of stuff here in queens that you can still mint not sure if this is FSA property. Uh, I don't have any of that stern stuff turned on as I'm getting ready to treasure hunt. But I mean, you know, UPX land for what it is, for what you can do with it, you can really learn a lot of different stuff about players. You can go see their assets here. So you can go look at their block explorers. You can see what they're up to the legits they own, the spirit legits they own, the structures they have. I mean, you can go look at properties too and you can search for like, you know, you can type in Queens and you can see all of the Queens profile or all the Queens. So they have a handful of Queens. You can also see here, uh, Thank Me Later's got 12. Look at in San Francisco, 2,500. <laughs> Thank Me Later owns so much of San Francisco. I can't get over this number. Like, by a mile, by the way. Look at this. 368 in Fresno. 263 in LA. 190 in Chicago. But goodness gracious. 2502 in here. Uh, but UPX land. I mean, you know, hopefully they sponsor me at some point. Because I'm always talking about UPX land. But... This is great, you know, this user search, bringing things up. And then again, you know, like if you know the profile, you can just type it in here. And so, you know, get rid of the two, hit enter, you bring up Cat Act. I mean, there's tons of tons of stuff that you can do over here on this profile. But so as we started digging into these, these profiles, these Cat Acts, by the way, Cat Act, you know, now they're sitting in jail. Uh, and what we did was, is we had to, hang on one second, we, there is a form that you can fill out. So here is the Upland Suspicious Account Reports page. I will have this link in the description below. But what you can do is you can come here and you can provide your email address, the email address that you log into Upland with. This goes to Upland, this doesn't go to anybody else. So put in your email. Put in the name of the accounts, and then these are all of the things that we can turn people in for. So multi-accounting, asset funneling, collusion, in-game bots. I mean, does this, if this says in-game bots, does this mean that like they found in-game bots? Maybe, or if you suspect people of in-game bots, we'll see, but then reported by, and then you put your in-game name and hit submit. And if we get enough people to start filling this out legitimately, let me let me say that, make sure that we're clarifying. Do not fill out this suspicious account report by just turning someone in because you, you're jaded over a treasure hunt or you just you you, you know want to get back at them, whatever, because we want the upland devs to utilize the time that they have really busting people or sending them to Alcatraz as you will. So be very cautious, but when you see something, say something, that's for sure. So we filled this out. 
I mean, I'm over on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Reddit, I'm in the Discord. I asked for everybody's help writing down these two Cadac names. Finally, we were able to get a hold of some people at Upland and we were able to get their attention and that was all good and groovy. And now here they are back in jail. So there's those two accounts. So I wanted to make this video to show you that not only are people always watching what you're doing, and they're probably taking screenshots, but you can come over here to Upland, upxland.me, and you can start digging into these profiles. And if you ever wanted to see what somebody's up to, what they're doing, or, hey, that sounds suspicious, let me see what's going on. This is the place to do it. You can see a lot of good stuff here. But I'm very happy that we were actually able to bring these accounts to justice. Uh, it feels so good to say that. But I also, these aren't the only accounts that uh, were turned in. So let me show you something else here. Uh, I have this up here. And so these are other accounts. So this is one called Forked. So I think that's this one. Here you go. They're going to open over here. I don't know why. This was an Uplander who had 14,000 Upics. Again, no properties, no collections. Uh, but these, this profile was actually in San Francisco. And the treasure was turned on. Which means in the game, when you... Let's zoom back here. And when you click on a property... Bring it on up, bring it on up. Come on down over here. Send, hit here, bam, done. So when you land on a property and you hit treasure, this stays on for a while. And when you hit that treasure button, it contributes to the number of people that are hunting. So this profile that I'm telling you about, this fort, look at this here. Let's let's bring up all of these. So here, let's go, let's actually. This is a really good idea. We'll go like this. Bring it all up in one time. Hey, now that's not what I wanted. Let's open with preview. There we go. That's what we wanted. So here's forked, and then we had brags, and then we had Ethel. All three of these profiles, they were in San Francisco. They have all been tossed in the jail at the same time that our Cat Act profiles. I think they might have had something to do with these. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see some kind of transactions. They don't own any properties, so the blockchain isn't going to show any transactions between this profile and the main one, which uh, sooner than later, you know, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to see some of those. Uh, but here's another part of, you know, I would say this is collusion. Uh, here's these profiles. They're not hunting in San Francisco. And also, if we go look at it real quick, so now that we know the URL, or now that we know the profile, let's just go like this. F-O-R-K-E-D. It's also going to say be suspicious. Uh, but so we can click on here. Here's that forked profile. And look at this. This is from the time of the creation. So this is creating all the profile, blah, blah, blah. So they literally, the first thing that they did was they received a token. They received money from somebody who, um, let's go back, let's just make sure. So look at this, here's this profile, F-H-I-Z-K. Uh, but we can see here that they received money, and it looks like they received money from whoever this is. Uh, very interesting. So I wonder, can we go in here? Can we paste like this? We cannot go like that. But is that our cat eye? KGG? Uh, that's not that one. How about cat act two? Nope, that's not it either. Okay, but we can see that these, you know, whoever this is, by the way, this is created in November, you know, uh, very, 
look at this deleted auth deleted auth sent token so i mean the last thing they did was they want look at this wow we're digging into some stuff now they won 4500 epics uh and then they did some sends and then they they won it looks like 10 so now they got 4,500, and so they probably sent 14,500 to that profile, and with the tax, it came to 1432, and then that's where we see this transaction. Sorry, that's back on the one that we were on, but here's that transaction that we saw for 1432 uh, that was sent to here. So, I mean, look at this, and because they became an uplander, they went from visitor to uplander, they received the spark bonus. So not only did they receive money for not doing anything, literally just creating this profile, but they also got the spark bonus. Very, very interesting. And then they sent this balance somewhere. Click it here. It looks like they sent it to Upland. Very interesting. Don't know what that means yet. We'll do a little bit of digging, but Again, even for somebody like this, that that profile that we just looked, how about we bring it up? Will it show me the search? No, uh, no worries. But I mean, you know, as we start digging into all of this stuff, let's close some of this out real quick. As you start getting into Upland, as you start doing a little bit of digging, we're all going to start seeing everything together and you're going to know if you start treasure hunting or you start doing sales and you start seeing the same name appearing, write it down or even just go look at it. Go look at UPX land, even if you don't understand what this is. Sometimes I don't understand what this is, but I know what UPX is, right? I know what USPX is. This is uh, USPK. This is Spark. So, I mean, like, as you start digging into things, this starts to tell you a completely different story. You can find strategy. You can find when they were buying things, what time. It's all very, very interesting. Alrighty, so my name is Russell Envy. Come give me a follow over here on Twitter. Please like and subscribe on uh, YouTube. I want you to be a better player in the Upland metaverse, I want you to also be an ally with me and let's go and find all of these Cat Act profiles. That's right, there's finally justice in Upland until they pay the fines, but let's bring justice to these profiles so everybody else who plays this game legitimately, we all have a shot to win. Until next time, have a good one. Subscribe.